Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we've been we've been putting together this little e-commerce store right here and it's got some fantastic features. What we're going to do today is have a little fun of created these little hover boxes that reveal a bit of text and a buy now button when you hover over your product. And this is really easy to do, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the visual builder so we can build on the front end. Once the builder has loaded, let's go down to where we want to work and add a new row. Little green button there for the row. I'm going to do three columns just like we've got above. Now here comes the interesting part. The actual image that we're using here is the background for our column. It's not actually our module. That's fine. Let's go ahead and put in a module. I'm going to put in a call to action module. Left click. It'll drop it right in there. OK, and I'm going to take the title away. On the button, I want it to say buy now. Obviously, you have a little bit of description about your content here. I probably don't need quite as much stuff as that, so I'll lop off that last sentence, I believe. Because I haven't, really haven't got anything to say about this, this uh, particular product here. OK. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that. I'll put a link in for the button. I want this to link to, say, this blue dress right here. So I'm going to use a dynamic. You can put in any URL you want. You can put in the URL of your post, your product, your page, wherever you want to go right here. I'm going to use dynamic content to do this. I'm going to go down a product link. It'll show me all my products, and I can select the one I want, which, of course, is on the second page. That's fine. Here it is, blue dress. So now we've got a link to our blue dress. Just hit the check mark. And I'll hit save right there. Now let's go back into our row settings. The green, green for the row, dark for the actual module within the row. If we were in a section, it would be a blue tab, usually over to the right hand side. So let's go into our row. And what we're going to do, column one, which is this column we're on, I want to give it the background image of this dress here. And this will make sense in a moment. Add a background image. Select the image you want, which is that one, I believe. OK, fantastic. Well, we've got that in as the background of the column. Let's just save that. Save that. Let's go back into our module now and take away this background color. And we should see this image. So let's go into the module. Let's just skip down the background at the bottom there. And I'm going to take this away. In fact, I'll take all the opacity down all the way. As you can see, you can see the writing now, kind of, and also the image behind. What I also want to do is make this a little bit taller so we've got a bit more of the image showing. So let's go to design, let's go down to sizing, and let's go to minimum height. And we'll start dragging this down to sort of level that we want the image to be, the sort of size that we want to show our image. So I think I used 375 before, but obviously you can use exactly what you want. You fine tune it with these little arrows right here. I think that'll do me. So as you can see, we can see the column behind if we've got no background color. So I'm going to do a little playing around here of visible and non-visible to make this actually work. So we're in the call to action module. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the background. I'm going to put in the pink color that we've been using. I'll just steal that from this module above here. Let's just close this out. I have actually been using this pink color right here. So let's take it from this module right here for the background color. We'll go down a background. I want to go to hover, that's where the color is. And I want to copy this RGBA code here. I'm 
let's pop that in R1 below. Obviously, you use whatever color you want. Background. OK. And when we're not hovering on it, we don't want any background color there so we can see the picture behind it. So let's go up to where it says background in the black writing here. Go across that arrow. That gives us a desktop and a hover option. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And we'll paste in our pink color. And we're on our hover value right here. Let's go to our desktop. And for this value, we want to make sure there's nothing there. So I'm going to trash that. I'm also going to go back in there and pull the opacity slider all the way down. That's fine. It doesn't look like our height settings took. So let's put that back in there. It was 375 for some reason. We go to sizing. Min height, 375. I guess I didn't save that. There we go. It's more like it. Okay, let's just save that, make sure we're going to save it. It's going to be there next time. Okay, so we don't want this writing or button in here. Let's just put a description in actually in the content. So this is blue dress. I'm going to put this in capitals, I think. And a price, perhaps. And we'll put that on a separate line. Okay, well let's now go into our decoration to the design and I want to go to body text and we're pretty much going to do the same thing as we did with the background color. I'm going to hover over the dark where it says body text color. I'm going to hit that arrow so we've got a desktop or a non-hover and a hover state. Hover state, I want the body text color to be white but I want it to be completely transparent. Nope, that's absolutely wrong. When it's hovering, I want it to be white and very visible like that. And when we're not hovering on it, that's when I want it to be transparent. So I want to bring this all the way down. So we just got the picture behind there. You see, like that. Make sure the hover's set correctly. Yep. Okay, let's just save that. And let's exit our visual builder. Actually, before I do that, to, for, the, for the others, once we've got this right, we're just going to copy this and change the image and the link to get the new one. So let's exit our visual builder and make sure everything's going to work. Little purple button, little green button. Once the page changes are saved, let's exit the visual builder. Go down to where we were. And there we have it. There's our little hover effect. That works fine. Let's make sure it's going to take us to our product. Fantastic. Okay, let's go back and we'll quickly put the other two in place. Very easy indeed. Let's enable our visual builder. Go down to where we were. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the row first and put the images in. Green tab for the row. Column one we've already got, column two, background. Choose our image. You've got color, gradient, image, and video if you choose. And it really doesn't matter. Let's put the red dress in this time. That's fine. And we'll put something in for the next column also. Image, add image, doesn't matter what, let's have a formal dress, dark dress, whatever. Okay, so we've got our three images in our right now, background images. And let's clone our module here. Pull it over. The reason that image has got bigger when I did that because when I clone it, it adds a module below and of course the row the column stretches and that's where the image is and same again with this we'll clone it two little squares pull it across and all we need to do is go in and change the title and the link for each of these so that they go the correct one buttons by now that's fine 
this is red dress and of course the link will do the dynamic module again product link right here let's trash this and start again there's that little disk icon when you hover over it for dynamic content choose a product and this is a red dress and again looks like all the dresses on the second page there we go so that'll now link with that do exactly the same from the third one and that's it save your changes and let's exit the visual builder and see what we've got go down to where we are oh it's the second one there we go and it's that works fine that works fine of course I haven't changed the text on this one so it still says blue and it will go the wrong one let's make sure our red one goes to our red dress fine fantastic and of course you can decorate them any other way you want I think the ones above I just added a little drop shadow to the modules itself so there you have it there's how to build a product link with text overlay on hover or text reveal on hover nice little effect to have on your website if you've got some sale products or products you want to highlight or you can build a whole page like that really easy to do with the Divi theme if you want to take the Divi theme for a test drive you can do so from my affiliate link below this video so I hope you found that useful and enjoyed it if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignDetectives.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.